On today's episode on Warp Drive M, I'm gonna show you how to fix and remove the CCC controller, yeah, or the iDrive controller in order to fix this. Um, I'm not sure if this time on camera will show what's the error. Um, every time you hit OK, sometimes works, sometimes doesn't work, yeah. Um, and it's uh, kind of annoying and sometimes uh, from itself uh, move the dial left or right or yeah it's uh, working alone even uh, if you don't press the button yeah oh see that and I didn't press it yeah it's hard to uh, see maybe if I go on the back of the car just a second oops Allah. now maybe now you can see so um, if I want to select something oh where is my now now you can see so now works perfect yeah of course every time every time you want to see uh, show something on camera it's working perfect yeah and this time works perfect okay so anyway I know for a fact that this one doesn't work correctly now we have to remove this in order to see why it's not working in order to remove this we have to remove basically just this trim panel yeah the uh, silver one yeah this one and we don't need any kind of tools in fact we need so something like this but you can do this with everything yeah you have at home so let's start now that uh, we remove this piece from the car yeah we can turn this around and we have to remove this t20 screws yeah in order to remove the take the controller out let's do that now now that i've took everything apart yeah i had to use a t20 uh, t10 as well yeah for these small screws that holds the electronic plate yeah on the plastic cover um we can put this aside as is yeah we don't want to tear this more apart and this is the controller unit yeah this is the plate yeah the motherboard and all the parts and we are going to look first for obvious yeah we have to check if uh, we can see something out of place or stuff like that yeah um and the simplest way to check that is to um verify everything where the buttons are yeah because there is the start of the signal yeah you push you will make an input yeah and the signal is going to be sent from the button to the controller yeah and it's going to select something so um we have these ones but in here everything seems to be okay because we don't have any module or and any electrical component uh, we have just circuits and everything should be okay in there we have this is the push button yeah and as you can see it has two transistors in there i hope i'm going to say the names right in english and and every time you push this you see that it's going to measure um, the signal between this one and this one yeah and it's going to know if something is pushed or not so we have to check this first um, very hard to uh, in fact i'm going to put the camera oh check this out i've already found our problem let me try to show you okay i'm going to zoom in let's hope you can see that see that haha <laughs> it was very easy see that the solder from this transistor uh, it's out i think it's diode not a transistor it's a diode anyway see that it's simple as that haha <laughs> now i'm going to resolder this and i'm going to test once again and i think pretty much that's about it in fact i'm going to check everything uh, once again and uh, everywhere yeah and uh, after that we are going to put everything back and test once again like i've said but i'm pretty sure just this is our problem because the problem was when you push ok it wa wasn't working all the time 
and the um, turning wheel is uh, of course associated with uh, this command from the controller and maybe that's why but uh, let me check everything and i'm gonna give you an update soon after inspecting a little bit more i didn't found anything yeah and uh, we are going to try to solder this cracked piece in here in order to do that we have to remove this plastic button yeah and for that you have to pry this oops focus pry this here yeah and now the button will come out but easy because there is a spring in there see that okay piece is out spring is out now we have more uh, room in there to solder something hey focus um i didn't found my uh, soldering iron with a smaller tip and i'm going to try to oops to use this one i've done the see that i've done the um, the head a little bit small and i hope i can solder in there something like that so let's try and i think job done yeah it it was a little bit challenging um in order to solder in there i almost destroyed this pin see that i melted a little bit uh, because i'm too lazy to remove the whole unit yeah i should have uh, removed the whole um, motherboard and yeah, after that tried to solder but it's too late now and it's done yeah i'm not sure how well you can see in here everything is uh, soldered together looks okay but like i've said it's a little bit challenging uh, to, we to weld to solder in there yeah it's very uh, little space anyway it's done now i'm going to put everything back together reinstall it on the car and let's see if we still have these problems or not now we just have to test it but i think it's going to work okay let's wait till the screen will be on now it's on um let's see right back left back up back down back and now perfect perfect okay so everything seems to be okay nice so problem solved job well done and just like that we can fix at home our problem with the ccc controller yeah or mask unit depends on the model and on the year but as you saw in the video it was um, easy to fix we spot the problem and everything works just fine yeah so i'm going to close this video here if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you don't like the video thumbs down until next time see you later